this. <laughs> this piece happening. When, when my video is cut off at least half the time when I do a part two, it's because uh, you don't need to see all of the table and all. It's because I forget to delete some of my previous videos and make room for my new one. And uh, yeah, so it'll cut off and say I don't have room and then I have to delete about 10. And that's what I just did. So I, I am keeping a lookout for my friend walking down. She will be here any minute. So say punctuality, time, respect. That's a huge one, being respectful of myself as well as other people. Um, these are things that have changed and I also have less tolerance towards other people's situations, I mean, everything from friendships to work environments. If and when I see people doing things more often than not, I'll give the benefit of the doubt, but if I see someone, say, who is constantly late or constantly changing plans at the last minute, there, I'm not going to keep making the effort anymore like I used to. Um, and in turn, I don't do that to people any, I won't say ever, but it's more the exception than the norm. And if and when that happens, it's, um, I'm very communicative. Whereas in my earlier years, I might not just, I, I might not have shown up for something or I might, you know, change plans last minute a lot. That was just part of my personality, and I remember finding out, uh, you know, well, I was just realizing just how how many people that I was treating in ways that I personally wouldn't want to be treated, and um, and I do believe karma in the sense is karma is action, so every action that we're putting out there, it it's we're saying it's okay putting that energy out there and one that i'm working on and i feel that relaxing chilling out at times on a daily basis making that time important um one of the things i've realized that I've, I've fallen into the habit of especially in the past couple of years is allowing myself to be quick tempered quick to anger and getting too intense about things that i don't need to get that intense about um in part because I feel a need to defend myself, protect myself, but just frankly getting pissed off and don't like people feeling like say someone is trying to take advantage of me, just really rubs me the wrong way. And instead of being more demure about it, I, <laughs> I can stand up for myself and be firm, but I do not have to give someone, you know, a, a verbal or physical <laughs> lashing. Fortunately, that hasn't really come out in any actual physical fights, but words and emotions are, are pretty, are very powerful. And also from personally, how these things affect my soul and my soul growth. And that other persons too, uh, there are, I'm aware of better choices I can make. And I used to be good at making better choices. One of the hard things about, for me personally, about getting older is learning to live with certain chronic pains, even if it's just the awareness of pain and suffering in the world. And that sounds very Buddhist, like the whole pain and suffering and the wanting to alleviate it. That, that's the heart of compassion. and. It's one of the reasons I like that book I've mentioned a couple of times, The Art of Happiness by the Dalai Lama, is because he talks a lot about what it's like for all human beings and how all of us would like to be free of the pain and suffering we feel. Even if we're that kind of human being who enjoys things that are typically deemed evil or unhealthy or bad, that people like that too would like to feel free, liberated, as they put it, from pain and suffering. And ultimately a lot, from my experience too, is about perspective. <sighs> Love, 
not only in just romantic love, I mean with love and the full presence of the universe and all that is. Mm, like a big star shines on through all pain, all suffering. The hard part is remembering it when you're in the depth of it. So these things are here to help remind me, to remind you, to remind all of us how we're in this together. We are truly brothers and sisters after all. That's it. It's time for me to wrap this up and get ready for my friends in Bible. And we have a wonderful time exploring, seeking, questioning all around us. I love you very much.